Hey guys, it's me, Anna, and my little trusty sidekick, Mookie. Today, I'm going to review some of the items that I've purchased from the Studio McGee line at Target and do a giveaway to say thank you for reaching a thousand subscribers. It's not sponsored by Target, Instagram, or YouTube, but it's actually sponsored by Mookie. He used money from his kibble fund and he's hoping that you'll give this video a like because I'm going to give him a treat for every like to repay him for very kindly sponsoring this video. Let's get into it. I have notes on my computer so that I can make sure that what I say is thorough and I don't miss anything. Overall, I love the Studio McGee line at Target. They do have their own store called McGee & Co. But as a lot of you who are into Studio McGee design already know, it is super expensive, like up there with restoration hardware. It has like thousand dollar lamps and things that an average person just wouldn't put it in their budget to buy. It's not affordable at all. And a lot of people have said that the Studio McGee line at Target is more expensive than say like Magnolia Farms or some of the other design lines that they carry for the home. And I definitely think that that's true, but I think that they're really cool, nice items, honestly better quality than I thought, but obviously this is all up to your own taste. I'm gonna start with lighting because I bought a couple of wall sconces and a table lamp for my own home and I'm really happy with them. I have the wall sconces on either side of my bed. I paid $70 for each one. They're in a brass finish and I think that they look super classy and nice. I love that I can have them on my wall and reach over to turn it on and off. I love that it's not taking up any of the table space on my side table because I really do use that. I spend a lot of time hanging out in bed and I feel like I need room to put like a plate for food or a book to have like water on the table. I, I just love wall sconces. I think they're pretty high end and to find one for $70, I know that $70 sounds like a lot for a light from Target especially when you're getting two, that's like $140 for lighting in the bedroom. But a lot of wall sconces, especially if they have a brass finish, they are at least like $400. It's harder to find ones that plug into the wall, but you really need to do that if you're renting or live in an apartment because you may not be able to hardwire it and get an electrician and put it in your wall. So I love them. I think they are totally worth it. I give them a huge thumbs up. Some of the reviews online said that the tapered kind of lampshade that is metal looks like it's too big, but that is one of the design things about Studio McGee that makes it distinctive. The lighting is always kind of interesting, a larger scale than average lamps that are a similar type of lamp. And the tapered lampshades are also very Studio McGee. Not that every lamp has that. Um, in fact, the next lamp that I'm gonna talk about is the small assembled table lamp. It is so cute. That one's only $30 and it comes 100% assembled even with the light bulbs screwed in for you. It looks like a piece of handmade pottery that someone turned into a lamp. And to me, it looks very high end, not even like something that you would get at Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel or any kind of store. It looks like it comes from a very expensive boutique or maybe even an art or pottery studio. I just think it's the perfect thing to put in an entryway or a small table where maybe you'd stack a few books. 
use it for styling and a little bit of light, but not as a main light. And that's something that has been coming in and out of stock at Target. So Mookie and I thought it'd be a good idea to make that the giveaway for this video to thank you guys for reaching a thousand subscribers. I reached a thousand subscribers a while ago, but it just wasn't like a good time to make a special video and do a giveaway. All that information for the giveaway is gonna be on Instagram and I'm gonna leave my Instagram handle down in the description. The next item I wanna talk about is my rug and that's the Northridge Hand Tufted Will wool shag diamond area rug okay that name sounds a little bit like an amazon item name so i'm just gonna call it the rug the rug i got is actually on sale it was the only item that was on sale when i bought it the reviews were actually pretty deplorable a lot of people complained that the rug sheds like one woman even wrote that she and her dog couldn't breathe because of the amount of shedding that was coming off of the rug and so i was pretty worried actually when i ordered it that i would have to take it back but i thought it was a really nice looking rug and i'm not gonna lie like i love a discount i have 11 commandments i learned them from my mom and the 11th is thou shalt not pay retail it is very hard for me to pay full price for anything, like literally anything. But anyway, I digress back to the rug. The rug, when I got it, I actually really, really loved it. I thought the quality was super good. I actually ordered two. At first I ordered a five by seven rug and then I put that under my dining table and I put the larger one in my living room. The one thing I will say is that all rugs that are wool shed and hand tufted rugs shed more, especially in the first year. So what I did is I just vacuumed it. I filled my vacuum twice with wool that had shed off the carpet. And after I did that, I just started vacuuming like once or twice a week and it's been fine. It's not like we have, you know, wool shedding all off the carpet and we're inhaling it all over our floors. We just need to vacuum the rug a lot and then you'll be fine. I think it's a super good quality. It's like, you know, wool, it's hand tufted. It's really cute, it's really nice. And at half off, it was a very good price. So I'm super happy with it. Next, I'm gonna talk about the Mid Veil vale Velvet and Wood Drum Ottoman. I think I can actually hold one up for you to show you because they're not very heavy or big. It reminds me a lot of West Elm, but it's actually, I think, cuter because I really like this wood detail and the fact that it's also velvet and the fact that it was $80. So it's about half the price of a drum shaped ottoman at West Elm. They're typically around 160. I don't know. I just think they're really nice. You can use them for extra seating. You can use them as an ottoman like footstool. I feel like they're also like a good little table for a living room. So sometimes I don't always feel like having a big coffee table in the middle of my living room, especially in an apartment. It's sometimes nice to have that as just open space. And then by using these, it's kind of like you have like little personal tables next to you when you're hanging out in the living room and it kind of eliminates the need for a coffee table, at least for me. I really like them and I'm also extremely happy with that purchase. That sort of brings us to the last item that I purchased and the last one that I'm gonna talk about. And that's the Murray Round Ceramic End Table. I love this. I think it's so nice because it adds like a sculptural element to any room. I feel like this type of end table can be combined with a lot of different styles. Like if you have a modern or a rustic style or you have a lot of antiques, you can still add like a sculptural element that's really modern and it looks 
very chic in my opinion. You see that a lot with French contemporary design, but this is also one of the more expensive items in the Studio McGee line. I think it was pretty expensive. It was $110. And at West Elm, they have a very similar table that's 160. So you're really only saving $50 and it's from Target. I would recommend this item, but to me, there was a little bit less value for money than some of the other things that I bought. Definitely the rug was the best purchase. If I was gonna recommend anything, I would recommend the rug, even though there are obviously a quite a few people in the online reviews that do not agree with me. I hope that this video wasn't too long and that it is helpful. Overall, I really am impressed with the quality of the stuff that I bought from the Studio McGee range at Target. I think it's very well-made, sturdy, it looks contemporary and cool, and some of it is a little bit more modern and some of it is a little bit more rustic. So what you might choose to buy and put in your home could be different than what I chose to purchase, but I definitely think it's worth checking out and adding like something to your home from that line. Again, thank you so much for watching the video, especially if you stayed till the very end. And uh, Mookie and I will see you in the next video. Bye.